Hello YouTube and welcome back uh, into another Dare to Game video. It's Dare playing Saints Row and I'm going to be showing you how to get the beer costume. So you can see we've got a pretty funny looking outfit on. Uh, the, my favorite thing about it is the fact that it's supposed to be a bottle of beer but for some reason has a, a plastic style twist off cap which uh, no bueno. Uh, I don't know about you but uh, when I drink beer it's certainly not out of a plastic bottle. But anyway, um, pretty cool looking outfit, really unique. Uh, definitely plays in well to the uh, cartoony and wacky world of Saints Row. And so if you want to pick this unique item up, I'm going to show you how to do it in today's video. So basically, uh, like a lot of these things, it's going to be by completing two historical sites, and this will be the reward you get at the end of it. So I'm going to show you where those historical sites are and how to complete each one of them. And once you've done that, you'll get this item. And so this one can be found in uh, in your character customizer under the outfit full body section. And uh, once you do that, you can find costume beer. And uh, as far as customization goes, you can fully customize all of the colors. So, uh, pretty standard type stuff for unique items in the game. Uh, I do like that, that it's old steel, so that's a reference to two things, one of which being the, uh, the historical industry of Santo Aleso in the game, and then the reference to old style beer in real life. So, uh, it's, it's a fun dual layered reference there. But yeah, now I'll just show you both of those sites and how to complete them. Welcome to Frank's 8020 Brewery in Smelterville. To learn more about the history of beer making in Santo Aleso, visit Red Faction Memorial Park in Marina del Lago. Listen to every panel at both sites to win a prize. Nobody suspects. Did you know? The Frank's 8020 Brewery opened its doors in 1902 and was the first industrial scale brewing operation in Santo Aleso, dedicated to serving the thirsty miners and metal workers of Cavanaugh County. <laughs> That's it! Did you know that 190 proof is a lot of proof? Did you know? In the 1990s, market volatility led to the collapse of the local mining industry. Frank's 8020 declared bankruptcy in 1998, and the Altor Corporation acquired the company. Yeah, drunk! So what? So running fast. Did you know? These old tanks were decommissioned in 1998. Altor modernized the facility with robots, a nanotechnology lab, and an orbital laser defense system. That's it. This town needs a monorail. Did you know? This iconic water tower was once the command module of a rocket ship designed for interplanetary travel. After the Red Faction uprising in 2001, Altor scuttled the project and sold the property. Welcome to the Red Faction Memorial Park. To learn more about the history of beer making in Santo Aleso, visit Frank's 8020 Brewery in Smelterville. Listen to every panel on both sites to win a prize. This bitch don't come with bricks. Nice air grab. They don't know what they're missing. Did you know? This brew pub was founded by the survivors of the 2001 Red Faction Uprising. Previously, the site was the regional headquarters of Altor Corporation. Wait, 
Do Did not you know? On May 22, 2001, Red Faction made its final stand here against the Altor Corporation. The striking workers sought an end to inhumane working conditions and unethical human experiments. One more notion, then my diet is Only idols allowed here. Get gone! Did you know? In the aftermath of the May 22nd massacre, Altor was forced to sell off many of its subsidiaries, including Frank's 8020 Brewery in Smelterville. That just pissed me off. Did you know? The Altor Corporation hired an elite squad of mercenaries to suppress the Red Faction uprising. On May 22, 2001, they opened fire on a gathering of unarmed workers. Lord, help me not say what's really on my mind. This bitch don't come with brakes. Congratulations, you have completed Red Faction Memorial Park. Must have been quite a ruckus. Thank you for exploring hidden history with the Cavanaugh County Park Service. Enjoy your prize. Perfect for any occasion. And just my size. Now I'm all riled up. And that's how you do both of them, and where to find them, obviously. So, a uh, pretty straightforward process, as most things in this game are, and once you've completed them, you'll have yourself the Old Steel Beer costume, which, like I said, is pretty fun and unique. I just really like the roll animation with it, because there's no way you could do uh, that smooth of a somersault with something like that dangling off the top of your head. That bad boy would get caught every time. Uh, but anyway, uh, if you like this uh, type of content, and you want to collect more of the obscure collectibles in this game, uh, I have a playlist linked in the description description where I show basically, well, it'll have every video that I've ever made uh, showing how to collect most of the, like I said, obscure, unique side collectibles in this game, including vehicles and other clothing items and uh, eventually even some weapons and stuff. So uh, with all that in mind, thanks a ton for watching and have a nice day and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching another Dare to Game video. If you like this video, please leave a like and a comment. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel. If you like my content and would like to support this channel, consider becoming a member today for as little as $1.99 a month. It makes a huge difference. But in any case, thanks for watching and have a nice day. I'll see you next time.